I wanted to be a lay Cistercian uh, because I was drawn um, by the, the rule of St. Benedict that the Cistercian monks and, and nuns follow in their lives, uh, a, a life of, of uh, prayerfulness, contemplation, and, and simplicity. And uh, I, I discovered uh, that all of them radiated a sense of joy in their lives, and I wanted to share in that joy. And uh, by, by becoming a lay Cistercian, I was able to uh, participate in, in, in that lifestyle uh, in the world outside the monastery. Mm -hmm. I wanted to become a lay Cistercian because I felt this was a way to be a better prayer person. I felt that prayer is a deed and it is something that the world needs and I felt that God was calling me to be a person who prays. And so I was following the Holy Spirit when he brought me to this group. I wanted to become a lay Cistercian because after attending a retreat at a monastery, I fell in love with the way that they prayed and I wanted to join in that prayer and incorporate the spirituality into my life. I wanted to become a lay Cistercian because I wanted to draw closer to the Lord and I saw it as an answer to my prayer. I wanted to become a lay Cistercian because I wanted to deepen my relationship with Christ and my through my prayer life and then contemplative prayer I've been able to experience a fullness of the gospel message. I wanted to be a lay Cistercian after I heard the charisms of what the professed Cistercians do. At first I thought, oh, I can't do that. But the sister who was explaining it said, we are in the world. We're supposed to do, we, uh, what the monks do is the ideal, but we have a different mission we're little powerhouses of prayer in the world and we bring it to others.